Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 19 of season 2 of the Ancient Madness Riot. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so Crazy Phil acting a fool. Mm hmm, yes. The puppy, no. Puppy, no. The wolf lady killed him. Baby, she's still not going to be closing off the school. That's her. Yeah. Last week, we saw bunnies attack. We might have seen kitties attack in this show. Because... <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, last week, bunnies was kicking ass in GJK. Oh, God.
Because remember, you did that. Thank God nobody died, because, I mean, that would have been messed up, but I don't think anybody could die, like, so easily in this situation. But, you know, that could be some final words spoken. But there's got to be a way we can save her, though. It's a possibility Chise could have done something, but you guys didn't give her a chance. Don't want to help her. Yeah, and nobody wants to see Phil die. She's an interesting character. Yeah, she has some problems here and there, but they all care for her still. The bracelets, right? Or when you gave her the potpourri the first time? Okay.
It's her. Going. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Now this big, this group getting too damn big. <laughs> right? So, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Any last chances before we go? <laughs> Girl, what the fuck? mean <laughs> see now looking at it when it was on like from the shot from below and above it looked more like a lost in its monster I don't even think I said lost this monster right, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Lot Ness monster. There you go. Baby, she lied to you about that. You think she's gonna give you praise?
Are you guys separated? <laughs> I mean, yeah, could you let someone out and like give them a warning next time, Elias? She said. Let's see, okay. My thing is, why didn't she wait for Phil's cousin also to show up and walk up? Because they're a group. It's always been, what, the one, two, three, four, I don't know, four, five, the six of them. So... You're missing two. You're missing two. Phil is over there and her cousin's back in school. Get it. He got hurt in the previous episode, but damn. Once again, she's saying it's just the most OP character in this damn show. Them damn crows again. Just be ready regardless. Hell no. <laughs> Get all there. They inside her. <laughs> inside her, inside Elio. So which sounds so wrong. Gary. Oh, he bleeding. Shouldn't have looked. Girl, we, uh, you know what? Let me say this. You know damn well your grandma ain't doing that. Because 
guys are lonely, honey. And you miss them. Right, but at the same time, you miss having parents in your life. That book has really effed up her hands. Like, girl, baby got no fingers on some of her hands. Oh my god. No fingertips. Girly. She's just that far gone and that broken. And it's just, what do you do for someone when they're that gone? You just be a happy girl. Oh, be hot. <laughs> okay, what if her parents like secretly forced her? To hide away that memory so that at the perfect time, she could instantly remember it and such. Now, the fact is that Chise and friends, but uh, really as of right now, Chise is just here. OP Chise about to get some ish. It's just about to go down. I, I don't know what the fuck is about to happen. Now, the chick who finally found her, who was looking for her ever since, I think it was last week's episode or the week before episode, aka the episode when we had um, Silver and What's-His-Face come in. I'm gonna call her the Crow Lady for short. She's a little scary. I don't know much about her. I don't think any of us know much about her. Light novelists and manga readers, y'all probably know everything about her. But, um... She seems very suspicious. I understand that she... I'm guessing she has to be working with Tise and wanting to help her. But there's also a deal made with them. I'm guessing. Who knows what that deal is? And such. I, I don't know. I'm a little afraid right now for Tise. And I'm thinking Elias was just going to pop up with her, with him and Ruth and, and let everybody stay there. But no. I mean, because they're inside Tise's shadow. So... Why didn't they pop out at that moment? Yeah, it seems like this next episode is just going to be all about flashback backstory and getting more context on that which i'm not mad at i'm glad that we're getting that for an episode 20 because by next week we're only gonna have at least like four or five weeks left before we're almost done with this series or really with the second season and such um i'm just hoping that when we do get to the end of this like because of course this is where when we get to it because just like i do a freaking pretty care it's gonna be me talking about the whole season of season one and season two combined it like it was it's still an interesting show don't get me wrong but i feel like the story and how the pacing is going it's like this like one minute it's good and the next minute it's, i'm like mm. so i think we'll go more in depth in that when we get into the final episodes but just the situation on fiddle meadow's backstory hopefully all the questions that i've been wondering Ever since she's shown up since the beginning of season two. Hopefully that gets answered all next week. Hopefully that um, when Watch Your Face talks to Phil next, next week as well, she'll be able to give her those answers about her parents that she really needs to know about what they look like, this, is that, and the third, and anything else that, of course, she can ask at that moment. But, of course, OP Chise coming regardless. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 19 of season two of the ancient madness ride if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos if you want to join the monster squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode 20 but until then i will see you guys all next time bye